Hey crafty friends, this is Sherry and I'm here today with Spotlight Sunday for the Crafty Maven group and if you guys aren't familiar with them, the Crafty Maven getaway um, was started by Hannah Lemieux. I think that's how you say your last name, Hannah. <laughs> and it's a place where we want the crafty community to come together and we like and our team gives inspiration um, in whatever form or venue that we craft in. So for my case, I do 12 by 12 layouts regularly. Um, and that's how I scrapbook. I do some mini albums and I do, um, I, I don't do Project Life, but I do Project pay Pages as it um, pertains to, Pocket Pages as it pertains to the mini albums. Um, like a December Daily, I just did, I think it's my third, was just my third year doing it. Um, still working on it, not quite done yet, but, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I'm Shari. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, it's Shari Scrappy Shares, and I started about a year ago. Um, I've been watching YouTube for a couple of years now, and that's kind of how I found out about, um, the online crafty community, and it's been amazing. I've learned so much, um, my style's changed and grown. And um, I'm going to discuss all that today and um, at the end of the video, sh video show you some of my work and my layouts. So here we go. My name is Sherry. I am from New Jersey and I'm about 30 minutes from New York City. And I live on a lake so I'm kind of far enough away from the city where um, I have the country. I have all the critters in my backyard um, and there's a lot of them. I have my dogs that are chasing away the deer daily. <laughs> um, and then I have, you know, you know, a quick 30 minute or so car ride to get into New York and see the tree and, you know, do all that fun stuff. Uh, I have been scrapbooking since 2002. I have three boys, Colin, JT, and Graham, and they are, Colin's going to be turning, next Wednesday he's going to be turning 15. And I can't believe I have an almost 15-year-old. And then JT is 13 and a half. And Graham is 9. And they keep me very busy. I love having boys. Um, I never would have imagined how much boys change a girl. But they really do. We have all kinds of critters in our house. And, I mean, we've had other critters. We currently have a... All right, we have two dogs. We have... A spotted gecko. We have a, a snake boa, a boa snake, one of those sand ones, sand boa, sorry, sand boa, and they stay underneath the sand, so that was kind of the only reason I let Colin get him. <laughs> um, what else do we have? We've had a tree frog before. We've had all kinds of fun stuff, fish and this and that. Um, hopefully I didn't leave anybody out there. <laughs> but those are some of the main subjects of my scrapbooking as well as, of course, my husband. Um, I am married to my high school sweetheart. We started dating when I was going into my senior year of high school, and we've been together for a very long time. Um, I went to college um, in Pennsylvania for the first probably year and a half, um, and then I transferred out to Arizona, where I went to Arizona State University, and... Um, then I did a lot of traveling before I wound up settling back. Um, I did a lot of traveling for work. I was a marketing manager, um, a few different capacities. I worked on site. I worked all kinds of fun jobs. Um, I wound up in international marketing and doing a lot of traveling um, and a lot of moving around for business. Um, so then we lived in Arizona. We lived in Colorado. We lived in California. We lived in Florida for a brief minute and then we moved back to New Jersey and really that's where it really has always felt like home. So um, let's get back into scrapbooking now shall we? Um, so as I mentioned I got into scrapbooking in 2002 and the way I discovered scrapbooking was I was going through a surgery, um, I was having some some problems, health problems with um, with my knees and I needed to get surgery and so I wasn't walking very well even before the surgery and so 
after I had my second baby in 2002, I was doing a lot of TV watching. I took some time off of work um, and I was watching the Home Shopping Network and QVC. Now, I've heard from a lot of my other crafty friends and scrapbookers that a lot of you got started that way. Um, back in the day, you know, they were the ones that showed you how to scrapbook, what was available, and they really provided any variety of scrapbooking that there even was. So if you wanted a, you know, a big kit that had variety of different scrapbook papers along with stickers, um, maybe some chipboard, glitter chipboard, some basics like that, and your your big cardstock, um, and you wanted really the variety, and you wanted help picking it out because you didn't know what you were doing yet, and you didn't want to walk into Michael's and be completely confused, that's how you did it. <laughs> and so I really did that for a while. I, uh, I built up my supply there and um, had a lot of fun scrapbooking, did it for obviously many years. I took off a little time again due to my arthritis and some of my health stuff. Um, just took off maybe a, a maximum of about a year and I just realized I could not stop scrapbooking. It was in me. It was part of me. Um, I had gone through some loss and that really gave me the jump, uh, some family loss, and that gave me the jump to really think about why and how important scrapbooking was to me and why I do it. So why do I do it? I really want to document those, not just back then how I did it, which was documenting each holiday and, you know, I was done with each holiday, then I was done with the year. Um, I did a little bit of day-to-day -day, and I definitely kept track of milestones when they were little, kept calendars, all that good stuff. But the difference between then and now is and for really the past many years is I really want to get the day-to-day. -day. I want to have the stories, the nitty-gritty, how I see it. I want a journal and I want to, you know, have it there for when someday, hopefully many years down the road, um, if I'm not there to tell the story that, you know, and I'm forgetting the stories because, you know, it's very easy to forget after a while, you know, um, even what happened maybe last year. Okay, I'm going to pause for one second. Okay, guys, I am sorry. I have had quite a few takes on this. Um, today is Saturday. Um, I've done this video multiple times, and I'm getting ready uh, to go to a hockey game, and then another hockey game, and then a crop that I'm actually going to later on at 5 o'clock today. So I'm trying to prepare for that as well, and a lot of people are coming in and out, up and down, looking for sticks and skates and pucks and whatever they're looking for. So sorry for all the interruptions. Actually, I don't even know how many have been on this video because I've done it so many times, and it is not my first day doing it either. <laughs> so, long story short, I think I was just talking about what scrapbooking means to me, why it's so important, and the stories that I want to get down on paper, and why I want to get them down on paper. Um, you know, life is precious, and nobody's going to have those memories. And even yourself, you may not have those memories, because um, I know... Sometimes a year ago, you're looking at a picture going, okay, and you're trying to recall the details. So it's really great if you can jot down stuff when it first happens. And I'm going to, you know, try to start getting better at that when I first get my pictures back and just do some journaling right away and, uh, you know, get those stories in scrapbooks for next generations and for my kids when they grow up. So now I'm going to take time. I'm going to turn down my camera where I'm most comfortable and where I normally do my videos. And I'm going to show you my style. I'm going to show you who I scrapbook some of my subjects and some of my favorite um, collections as of late. And I will be right back. Thanks, guys. Okay, so here's some of my layouts. I'm going to start by showing some of my hockey layouts. I am definitely the hockey mom. And... So this is an example of me using, not a specific designer, but, you know, where I feel it should be themed, I theme it. And uh, that's a nice big picture. And which one is this? This is my oldest. This is a couple of years ago now. Maybe I'll just turn it down. Sorry, guys. There. I think I might be able to do that better. And then lift it up to you. Here's another one. This is my youngest, Graham. 
playing, and this was a Rock the House tournament, and this was in 2014. So this is going on two years. Um, they're going to be having Rock the House tournament again, I think, next month. So there's that one. And this was close to my heart. Paper and embellishments. Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure I'm getting this. There we go. That's better. Okay. So there's another one. Okay, I'm going to move a little quicker. So now, back in the day, I used did a lot of double page pages, and this is an example where I'm still doing them. I do more single pages now than I ever did, but I have a lot of pictures to show. So this is the left side, and that is the right side. And this is a way that I can get a lot onto the page. And this was with a kit, again, from Close to My Heart. And this is an example of, I had a kit together from years ago. And I never used it. And I decided to combine it with some freckled fawn embellishments, some stamps that I currently have, and do it how I would do it now versus then, which means, you know, closer together pictures, um, not a lot of space, um, some more embellishments, chipboard, um, some stamping, and the like. So this was his eighth grade birthday. We took a few friends and we went to see the movies. And they're in front of Hercules, sorry. They went to see Hercules and they were standing in front of the sign there and then there, that's my son, Graham right there and his friend looking at him. And this is them being silly in the back of my car. This is one of my favorite layouts to date. Um, and I did this for another team. Let me try and show this a little better. Oh, he's getting all that. There we go. And this was last, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. And here I used, what is this? Craft Market? I believe this is Craft Market. No, it's Maggie Holmes. This was um, a scrapbook kit from Scraptastic, and I used Maggie Holmes, um, embellishments paper, um, the, this paper in the background was uh, Jen Hatfield, and some thickers that were also from that collection, and I kind of grouped a picture, um, if I go through every page and what it means and what it's about, it might take a while, but I just kind of want to show you examples of my work and how much my boys love each other, so this is my oldest and my youngest, and he's in love. That's him hugging. That's his close-up of him hugging him. I hope the lighting's okay, guys. I, You know what? I forgot to turn my good light back on. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, now you should be able to see everything much better. <laughs> There's the light. Okay. I have turned it on and off so many times. Okay, so this, I absolutely love this layout. This is one of my all-time favorites as well. Um, this is from when I went to a crop. I stayed overnight, and so this was after the crop was over. My husband was like, why don't you stay another night, have fun? So I booked an extra night, and this is, there was a big desk and a table and um, for me to create on. And I just thought this, I knew I wanted to document just, I loved this line. This is the Crate Paper Craft Market Collection. And I loved all the scissors and, and the kind of scrappy um, scrappy notes. Um, live, love, create, and inspire, and be crafty. So here you can see I do a lot, and this is how really I do a lot of my stuff now. I like to do a lot of clustering. Um, I like the flags, and I like to finish all my pages with the enamel dots. And here's another one down here, and I journal. Now, a lot of my journaling... I, want, I have, if you don't see it on the page, it, it's either on the back, it's hidden in a tag, or I still have to do it, because I might not always do it right away. Are you guys getting a good look, or is this glaring too much? I'm so sorry. Like I said, I'm not used to this angle. There we go. I think that's better. So, like, for example, I just want to tell you guys back on this one, ah, that this is where my journaling is. So, it's a pullout right here, tag, which I'm not going to pull out, because it doesn't want to come. But, you know, and then this is the, this again was a two page layout. This one I just showed you. I mean, and this one was more of a, it's a two page layout um, that complements each other. 
So there you go. That's what it looks like together in the book. So there's me crafting that night. Here's what that layout that I showed you previously, which I did at that crop. Here's some of my stuff. And here they had a fun little um, coupon where you could go next door and get a free thing of cookies and some free coffee and cookies. So I wanted to take a picture of that as well. Yeah, really fun. I'm going to turn it down a little more. See if that, yeah, that lighting's better. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry this is taking so long. Okay, I'm at 15 minutes, so I'm just going to kind of go through real quick. A couple more layouts. There's one. And this is with the Crepe Paper Wonder. So you can see there's a theme. I love Crepe Paper. This is when my kids were smaller. Because now I definitely craft. I don't try and keep up, and I craft based on what I want a scrapbook. It doesn't have to be current, and if I see something and other pictures talk to me, there's another double page spread. So, I'm kind of going to end it here with this. So, here's another double page spread. It's called The Leonard Boys for Hire. And it's my husband and my son, and they were repainting um, some tables to put down at the lake. And, let's see, what did I use here? This is again craft market and then this is the other side so you know you can tell the story with one picture but I like to tell it with a lot I thought the little house was cute um, and I just had fun with the design a lot on this one as well um, cutting apart different papers and such so what I want to leave you with is thank you very much um, I am you can find me at Shari Scrappy Shares as well as on the Crafty Maven Getaway channel with um, layouts, hauls, videos. Um, and I'm going to be coming up with some more um, restructuring, I should say, to my channel over the next few months. So come by, take a look, and thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great rest of your weekend. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.